Good morning to each and everyone. Our subject is all about marketing management. To start with, let's start with the topic on marketing principles and strategies. On the marketing principles and strategies, we will discuss first the lesson one about the marketing and its traditional approach. But before that, let me define what is marketing management. It is the analysis, planning, implementation, and control of programs designed to bring about desired exchanges with target markets for the purpose of achieving organizational objectives. Now what is marketing? Is it a personal selling, advertising, making products available in stores, maintaining inventories, all of the above plus much more is a definition of marketing. Marketing is a philosophy, an attitude, a perspective, and a management orientation. Plus, it is a set of activity including products, pricing, promotion, and distribution. Now, according to American Marketing Association definition, marketing is the activity set of institutions and processes for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have customer, clients, partners, and society at large. Now, why do we study marketing? It plays an important role in society. It is vital to business survival, profits, and growth offer career opportunities, and affects your life every day. Marketing is too important to be left to the marketing department, according to David Packard of Hewlett Packard. And half of every dollar spent by consumer pays for marketing costs. Become a better informed consumer that's why we study marketing. Now, there are also several basic components underlying marketing. We have the needs. Of course, the needs are the food, shelter, clothes, security. The other one is the wants. Wants are the things that we only acquire for satisfaction. Wants. But that is not what we really need. Then we have also the demands. Demands are human ones that are backed by buying power of consumers. Exchange, market. Then we have also the scope of marketing. It involves goods, services experience, events, person, places, properties, organization, information, and ideas. Everything that you can see here is a scope of marketing. Now, there are traditional approaches to marketing also. We have the production concept, the sales concept, marketing concept, relationship concept, and the societal marketing concept. Now, let's discuss one by one. The production concept focuses on the internal potentials of the company and not based on the desires and needs of the market. The sales concept refers to the idea that people will buy more goods and services through personal selling and advertising done aggressively to push them in the market. We have also the marketing concept, the idea that the social and economic justification for an organization's existence is the satisfaction of customer wants and needs while meeting organizational goals. The marketing concept is focusing on customer wants and needs and can be a source of competitive advantage by creating customer value, maintaining customer satisfaction, 
building long-term relationships. And of course, we have also the relationship marketing, the name of a strategy that entails forging long-term partnerships with customers, both individuals and firms. The relationship marketing importance is that it is attracting a new customer, maybe 10 times the cost of keeping an old customer. Now, how to build long-term relationships? Of course, we have the customer-oriented person, effective training programs, and empowered employees. It also involved teamwork as well. Then we have the societal marketing concept, marketing that preserves or enhances an individual's and society's long-term best interests. Less toxic products, more durable products, and products with reusable or recyclable materials. Now, after studying the first one, let's move on with the goals of marketing. What do you think is the goal of marketing? Marketing goals are statements of what results the company wants to achieve with its marketing efforts. You cannot just market anywhere the goods and services, services that you want without targeting a goal. Goals are different from objectives. The marketing goals is the top level broad goals to show how the business can be benefit from the channels. Marketing objectives is a specific smart objectives to give clear direction and commercial targets. So when we speak of smart, it should be specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and time-bound. We have also what we call marketing KPIs or the key performance indicators are used to check that the marketing activities of a company are on track. We have the vision, goals, objectives, CSFs, and KPIs, metrics, and measures. As you can see, this is the hierarchy of goal or objectives and KPIs. Now, how to develop on marketing goals? Goals might become ineffective and dysfunctional if these things are not given focus, the attainability. Make sure that the goal is attainable. Consistency, comprehensiveness, and of course, intangibility. Here are some examples of noteworthy goals. We have identifying target market, increasing sales and profits, increasing brand awareness, increasing market share, countering competitive strategies, reputation, increasing distribution channels. Okay. Now let's move on with the lesson three, the contemporary approaches to marketing. We have here the not-for-profit marketing, we have the person marketing, place marketing, cost marketing, event marketing, and green marketing. Now let's discuss one by one. The not-for-profit organization marketing is a type of organization that does not earn profits for its owners. The characteristics is that it generates as much revenue as possible to support their causes. It competes with other organizations for donors' pesos, market to multiple publics, and often possess some degree of monopoly power in a given geographic area. How about the person marketing? It entails endeavors aimed at cultivating the attention, interests, and preferences of a target market toward a celebrity or authority figure. These celebrities could be real individuals or fictitious ones. Celebrity endorsement is another instance where person marketing could be applied. Can you give me an example wherein there is an advertisement, advertisement or marketing that we use celebrities? Uh, one example is Jollibee, one of the celebrity that uh, already presented Jalebi is Agamulak. Okay. How about the place marketing? Or what we call the place branding. Attempts to exert a pull on customers to particular areas. 
It is significant for tourism businesses and recruit of workers. Place marketing. So, if for example, you want to uh, advertise Lorma, so that could be a place marketing. Okay. Cost marketing is the identification and marketing of a social issue, cost, or idea to selected target markets. It covers a broad sort of issues like literacy, physical fitness, awareness of child obesity, environmental protection, elimination of birth defects, child abuse prevention, and preventing drunk driving. There are some general guidelines to consider before dividing into a cost marketing campaign. First, you need to understand marketing. Support refutable causes. Maintain transparency. Think mainstream and stay consistent. Then we have the event marketing. The marketing of sport, culture, and charity activities to selected target markets. Now what is an event? It is a live multimedia package with a preconceived concept, customized or modified to achieve the client's objective of reaching out a suitably influencing the sharply defined, especially gathered target audience by providing a complete sensual experience and avenue for two-way interaction. Here are the essential features of event marketing. We have the wide range of events, the mega events and local events, like exhibitions, trade shows, publicity stunts, theme and created events, corporate entertainments, and award ceremonies. It is also goal-oriented, effective promotion and communication, proper evaluation, feedback from clients, and location. And last is the green marketing or the environment marketing. It refers to the process of selling products or services based on their environmental benefits. For green marketing effective, there are three things that need to be done. So being genuine, educating the customers, and giving customers an opportunity to participate. One example of this is the eco bug, right? They use this for environment, to protect our environment from using plastics okay. and that ends the topic on chapter one about marketing principles and strategies